Number 19, we notice that this is an inequality because we shaded on it. So it's going to start off Y is either greater than or less than. Well, what did we do? We shaded below this line. That's angled towards the ground. So it's going to be a less than symbol. Since this is a solid line, that means the points on it are solutions. So we need to put a solid line underneath it, which basically means less than or equal because points on there also work. On that line, they work. Now I just need the equation of the line. <clears throat> Excuse me. Crosses at negative one. Seems to go up two over one. So it's got a slope of two going up to the right. So it's positive slope. And then it simply crosses at negative one. So that's what we have graphed there. Number 20. Ooh, what's the domain? Well, this guy's continuing forever. So domain are your X values. Well, it starts right here at one and then it continues going that way, doesn't it? Continues to the right. So it seems to be every X bigger than or equal to one. The range is up and down. Domain is left and right. We're going from one to the right. So we're going all numbers bigger than one. Two has a solution. Three does. Four does. So every X bigger than or equal to one. 21 in the function, what is F of negative three? So all it's saying is, hey, plug negative three into that X right there. So F of negative three will equal negative two times a negative three squared. I know negative three squared is positive nine. So I have negative two times positive nine. Negative 18 will be our answer for problem 21.